Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 PvP weapon showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gothard Twin Swords. Uh, probably one of the best uh, straight swords in its class. I haven't used a straight sword in a while for the arena, so I thought I'd just start whittling down all of the straight swords as well. Uh, the Gothards have the longest range, I believe, out of all the straight swords. So that's why you see them so much at meta. They are really good for dueling uh, when it comes to the straight sword class. I think they have less damage output than the Lothric. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean a decent amount, 40, but the little extra range, I guess, is a little bit more important when it comes to hitting your opponent at optimal distance, so. We got that in the books. Uh, here's the build for you guys. It's a it's a Dark Chaos build. I think these perform the best like that. I mean, I have a lot of stat investment at 125, so I may as well just go for the Dark Chaos version. Uh, and the armor set is just my favorite heavy armor set. I like the, the Black Iron chest and uh, helm. The other two don't really matter, but... Usually based on my vitality, I end up with black iron leggings and the Gundyr gauntlets or like Smoes or something for optimal poise. But the Gundyr ones actually look decent compared to Smoes, so I use these over them. And then yeah, these are the rings that I have. Uh, I believe, I mean all straight swords, I, I think this thing gets uh, an R1 to weapon art. Or an, R or an L1 to weapon art for sure. I know that connects. I'm not sure actually now that I think about it if the R1 connects to the weapon art. I don't think it does, just based on the speed I'm looking at right now. But we'll see, I guess. Yeah, let's just go into the arena. <laughs> Alright, around one. Let me just put on my tears of the casual in case someone has vestige. That's my, like, counter vestige. I will also bow. Hello there, good sir. How are you? <laughs> oh, yes. What weapon are you using, McRide? Hello. Woo! Oh, a Zweihander! Nice! Okay, so we figured out the R1 does not combo. Hell, I, I remember the L1 comboing. Does the L1 still combo? Well, it might have, but I failed it. Nice, McGride. I like that, dude. That was nice. Hmm, you're punishing that well, sir. Oh, you have a Corvian! <laughs> nice, Corvian in the offhand actually works really well. Nice. I guess this thing doesn't get an R1 to combo. Did that just stun him out of his stomp? Maybe he had no FP. Maybe. I don't imagine that that would have stunned him properly. Huh. Nice. His timing with the ultra is nuts. Like, I have to, like, whittle, or, like, sorry, not whittle, but I'm timing myself very differently. Specifically because he's so good with that. Good job, McRide. I have to appreciate that battle. Still though, it's sad, so this isn't... I guess that would be kind of nuts if it did get that off in R1, right? <laughs> I remember hitting L1 weapon R back in the day though and it working, so I'll have to try that. Alright, on to our next match. The Zweihander guy is pretty chill actually, I liked him a lot. <laughs> oh god, the edge. Hello there, sir. Kronos. Are you using the Warden Twin Blades? <laughs> That's funny. Because <clears throat> I uploaded a video on this day of the Warden Twin Blades. <laughs> Ooh, you got the flickers. You know what they say about flickers. They're difficult to fight. <laughs> and we win with a bomb! <laughs> Good fight, Kronos. <laughs> I just wanted to hit that lightning earn shot. I like when they die like right before my feet. <laughs> like they're almost about to hit me, but then the urn just finishes it. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> Alright, well. So far I don't know much. <laughs> I wanna see if art like I swear R1 to weapon art should be a combo, right? Or maybe maybe it has to be the L1, I guess. Let's see. Here's like a perfect connection. Okay, no. That does not work. So L1 is, I guess, needed. That's kind of sad. I mean, that kinda, that's kind of fair. An R1 is pretty OP to have into a combo on a straight sword. I think L1, L1 is a pretty good balance. Didn't even mean to running attack there. That was interesting. Ooh. Although the L1 is actually hard to pull off. 
Okay, so that's a combo. It's not it's not a very I mean it's kinda damaging. 562. I'm gonna try to remember that compared to two R1s. Okay, two R1s would have been three uh ninety-eight. Okay, yeah, so it's stronger than obviously two R1s, but it's more of a pain in the butt to pull off, so. Useful though to know. So the L1 does combo into it. I wonder how much just an L1 to L1 does alternatively. We'll see. Okay, so we've confirmed that L1 works. Um, I don't know what other combos this thing could possibly have. Probably not too many, I mean. I'll try to use this dual wielding moveset more though, just cause. <laughs> oh, you have Vestige. You're just the type that I prepare for with my tears of denial. Okay, you know what? That wasn't too bad. I think one of my attacks missed, but 554, I actually think that the dual wheel attack will do more. I mean, you're not helping me out right now, sir. Yeah, uh, no. That was, okay, hard to say. <laughs> God damn it. Good fight, though, sir. Okay, straight sword sight. That's interesting. Hello there, sir. Or wait, is that a straight sword or is that a great sword? No, that's a great sword. It's gotta be a great sword. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so weird in the offhand. <laughs> Garrett, nice move, man. I wasn't expecting that running attack to reach me, to be honest. Alright, so. Thinking about combos. I mean, this guy's just gonna keep running attacking with a scythe, obviously. It's a great opener. Has a ridiculous range. Gonna follow up with it? Yeah. Alright. That's actually a good mix, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'd have the scythe in the right hand. I guess he likes the scythe running attack more. That makes sense. I don't think I'm gonna hit this guy with an L1. That's a pretty uh, easy thing to dodge, and his spacing is pretty on point. The running attack on that scythe is nuts. Not the two handed one, though. The two handed one is actually worse, alternatively. Hmm. We're kind of both chipping away at each other. Not sure what's making more ground right now. Oh, that was actually interesting. I like that. He didn't even go for a panic roll. He went for a trade. But, I mean, it was a very bad trade in his favor. It was a fully charged R2, so. Good fight, Garrett. I don't normally use the rolling L1, but <laughs> you had your spacing on point with that build, dude. Good job. All right, I think we've pretty much adjusted all the combos this thing has then. It's got the L1 to weapon art. I don't, I still don't know if it's more damaging than two L1s. I'm gonna try right here. Oh, red. Bro, it's been a bow. Hey, you better, better bow with the Lorian's helm on. You better do it some honor. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It looks like me. Um, let's see. So I guess this guy, L1 weapon art is 471. Okay. I mean, 478. I'm obviously blind. My bad. Ah, man. I hate when this is just enough latency for me to not punish a whiffed R1. Yeah, it's really difficult. So what was it? 478. He's like gliding as he swings. I think he's going to parry eventually, but... I think the first swing is missing because 180 from a, uh, the beginning of the L1 doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it was probably 360, and then that would make sense, right? Yeah, okay. So I think the two L1s is actually stronger if you can pull it off. Good fight, sir. I think. Because if the second part of the L1 is 180, and then just the, the, the two other things made it become 450, math. <laughs> Then each one should be doing 270, I'm going to say. So 540. So yeah, it would have been stronger, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right, good sir. Hello? Oh, hey, it's the dude. The dude with the scythes, I think, that we fought. Well, the scythe greatsword mix up, whatever his name was. I'm blanking. His name is Garrett. Ah, dude, I, you look like the type to be really good with that. I have to, I have to hand that to you. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this with the straight sword. I've got like the most perfect timing you've ever seen an attack between the shield and the sword. 
It's a good thing I have that. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, I have, I have that on. Okay, wrong ring, but okay. That's actually one of the best straight sword counters, I would say. Because if you trade with the R1, it's uh, it's pretty useful. It has good trades. Like that. And then it kind of pseudo combos. If you don't roll right. I'm, I'm used to getting hit with that jump attack now. <laughs> I, I fought, I think, two decent dudes in the arena who used that, so... Yes, Garrett, yes. Oh no, see that charged heavy leads into a jumping attack. You need to make sure you avoid that at all costs. Good job, Garrett, honestly. Our duels are good. It's hard to punish. That's like one of the things I'm gonna say about that weapon. Okay, that's that's something I can punish. <laughs> good fight though. Very good, sir, very good. Okay, yeah, I think I've unlocked all this thing's secrets. <laughs> Actually, one last thing. It probably gets an R2 to R2, and I haven't landed that yet, so. Man, I'm getting kind of the same people. McRide, yeah, you were the first dude I fought with the Ultra. Hello, McRide. How are you, good sir? I don't think I'll get a charged heavy on him. <laughs> Sadly. I could try, though. Okay, I lied. I timed it. Oh, that's also sad. R1 doesn't combo into an L1. I mean, most dueling weapons get that, right? <laughs> that was pretty cool. It was like a finisher. Um, good fight, McRide. That's kind of sad, actually. I guess because the second um, part of the L1 is so slow. That's why it doesn't get it. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's sad. <laughs> All right, so you know, I'm gonna say that they balance the Gothards as a dual weapon pretty well because it has the straight sword move set, uh, and yet you can't exactly punish that hard with it like you can with the other dueling weapons. What is the plan here? That is so not worth your time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so R1 to L1, I guess, doesn't combo. Okay, that's interesting. I guess nothing off the R1 does. I don't get the point in this. He's trying to wait out the clock, like... <laughs> I don't get the point of that in the arena. Good fight, sir. Good fight, too. Whew. <laughs> oh, here we go. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's like me and that, that host are wearing almost the exact same armor. Hello, boys. Hello. How are you? What are the names here? Godoy? Godoy. Godoy and Mr. Mallet Man, the desk. Ow, Godoy, that was rude. This guy's just getting two up in them. I almost feel bad. I mean, this is a pretty easy weapon to backstab. <laughs> I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. He's dead. No, why are we. <laughs> Num rude. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time, Namrud. I, I dig this though. I like I like the battles that we got going on here. Did the go hit me? I always forget how bad the Onyx Blaze range is. I mean, how good it is. Oh God, did he hit me with that? Kyo, Kyo, Kyo. Good job, brother. Good job. Ow. One flamey boy comes in here. Good fight, boys. I'm just throwing vestige. <laughs> GG. Alright, guys. Those are all the battles that I have for you with the Gothard Twin Swords. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Here is the build again if you do want to check it out. Uh, I, I always use my Chaos and Dark builds differently depending on what weapons I plan to have in my inventory. But 
uh, I usually have 18 decks, and my strength is where it changes. Like, either I'm going to be wielding some heavier chaos weapons, like sometimes I'll use, like, the Cathedral Knight, and I'll have to change up my build a bit, or I'll have more of this one, which is just, like, lighter weaponry. The Astora is a pretty light Ultra Great Sword, too, so, yeah. But, yeah, for the Gothards, this worked well. And until a next weapon showcase, I will see you guys next time. Have fun. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.